Caddis, Maximus here. This is a quick review of this NTAC Wideband Power Line and EMI Noise Analyzer. This was actually a product. This wasn't really a retail product. This was, uh, I don't know if it was sold or given to uh, authorized or lar I think larger. I'm not exactly sure because these aren't super common. Retailers of Monster Cable products. And they even say for use with Monster Cable products only. And it's a noise analyzer, so kind of funny. I did find this used, but I thought it was pretty interesting because I've actually, uh, it's helped me out a few times. And it really helps people visualize. You know, I've certainly had friends and that type of stuff. I actually sold a few uh, power conditioners. Uh, and this, using this device really uh, helps a lot. And what it does is it kind of, it has a built-in speaker, which is interesting. So anything that's in the audible range, up, up through whatever 15 kilohertz maybe it's only like 12 kilohertz it's pretty bad but it will allow you to hear the noise and one of the biggest deals is am radio uh because it's amplitude modulation uh charges uh power lines to the point to where you can actually hear and listen to the radio through the power line so i have a cord plugged in here it's just plugged straight into the wall without not even a sur basic surge protector or anything, and just a basic power splitter here. How this thing works is it has both a plug, so you can plug it into the AC power line, and it has a sensitivity, which is essentially the volume, but it does uh, adjust the voltage, which I always thought was weird because the, the millivolts is adjusting with the sensitivity. And then it actually has this neat mode, which is radiated noise, so it's you acting like an antenna, and you can walk around, get it near certain things. I don't know if this power cord will pick up much. Probably not. Yeah, just a little bit if I move it around. Just in the right situation. But if you have some really high noise power lines, I've run into this uh, in office buildings doing computer work a long time ago uh, where people still had tube type CRT monitors remodeled. They had an upstairs floor. Well, all it was also a manufacturing facility, so those offices had all the heavy power cables running over those offices to all these large motors and manufacturing equipment. And the monitors, they just couldn't stop them from shaking no matter where they put them in the office. The screen was wobbling. And you go in with a device like this, and you could just see all the power of the radiated noise. So it's just like a detector. This won't detect really like high frequencies. It's more for... 60 hertz and power related. Let's do this power line noise thing. And I just usually crank, let me actually turn that down. And this is the what makes it most obvious. I have an isolation transformer here I'm going to make an example of. And I have this uh, work light. I've actually reviewed this, but this is a LED and it works off of a switching power supply. But since it's like 20 or 25 watts, uh, it generates quite a bit of electrical noise. And so this is the representation of most of your electronics, your computers, all the chargers that you use for all the electronics, all the power tool chargers, all those things are going to make the noise like this makes. So if we just plug this in, right now we're just going to listen to the AM radio on the power line itself. It's really pretty serious. It's really surprising. So now if we turn on this light, this is where it gets crazy. I need to quiet that down for a second. Yeah. That buzzing is the switching frequency of the switching power supply. And as that's, it's switching, it's just like plugging in a wire and then unplugging it at whatever 15 kilohertz or whatever this is running at. And all the little charging bricks, all that stuff do the same thing. Since they're switching, they're, they're basically conducting and then not conducting the power rapidly rather than being more smooth like a, you know, a, an old power brick, a heavy old power transformer based power brick. Okay, I've got my isolation transformer plugged in, but even really nice like isobar power strips would do a pretty good at filtering, pretty good job at filtering. And just one more time, noise on the power line, noise with that. Now we'll just take this and 
see really the magic of an isolation transformer. It's really that good. Uh, it's beyond orders of magnitude. It just completely resolved it. Now at max sensitivity, this thing's reading. Uh, so it says millivolts. So that would be a tenth of a millivolt or 100 nanovolts. Even if we add the light now, we know that's super noisy. And it may have caused it to tick to 0.2. Isolation transformers really do work. And this is kind of a neat device to find that actually uh, visualizes it and puts it in the audio to let you know you have really clean power. Now this would be more applicable to audio files who really want to make sure that like maybe one component isn't actually producing a bunch of noise in the same power strip that the amplifier is plugged into and they may want to separate their amplifier. Because obviously, you know, even though this is very quiet, it's cranked up. If we take a noise generating device like this light and plug it into our power filtering device, we've now just bypassed the filtering and are reintroducing noise again. So it's something to uh, not forget. And it's one of the reasons those isobar power strips actually have uh, multiple filtering banks is just to get around these types of issues. And why those darn power strips are so expensive is because they're like multiple filtered power strips in one unit. Anyway, that was the review of this Entech uh, EMI noise analyzer, and I think it's a pretty cool tool. There are obviously much more professional products uh, available. You can find them online for doing what this does, but I always thought if you found one of these on eBay for 20 bucks and you're kind of into electronics and maybe even audio equipment and those types of things, it's actually a pretty neat little box. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.